I am basically bald now. She's special and she's reckless. Remember, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she's my bestie. Okay, so I've adjusted my camera angle down so that you can see the construction of this unit. Here is everything I'm going to be using. So the first being this 22 inch block head, which I purchased years ago. So if you are planning to be in the wig making business and you want to make wigs that are a lot more secure and a perfect fit for you, then I highly encourage you to invest in a block head. All right, the next item I'm going to be showing you is just as important. This is a wig cap and let me get that to focus. All right, yeah, so this is the wig cap I'm going to be using, and it's pretty sturdy. It's a really good uh, quality material, so this is what I'm going to be using today. And as far as the hair, I featured this on my channel before. Let me get this to focus. All right, so yeah, this is the hair I'm going to be using. It comes in the lengths 8, 9, and 10 inch, so this should be a really fine unit to construct with this hair. Now, the last two items is a normal crochet needle. All right, that's how that looks. And the last item, a friend actually uh, left this at my house, so I'm gonna use it. It's in the color gold. It's just gonna help me mark the front of my units to make sure that I differentiate between the front and the back of my unit because the last thing you wanna do is construct an entire unit and you don't know which way was the front and which way was the back. All right, so this is just gonna be my marker. All right, so that is the complete list of items. Let's get to constructing this time. What I'm gonna do first is take out the crochet cap. Now it has a little kind of like marker here to mark the back. So I'm just gonna take my gold pencil and just bring that up. So that's another way you can know the back as well. And this is the front of my unit. All right, so that's how the cap is looking. And for the front, I'm just putting three lines. All right, three lines. All right, so that's the easy part. Now let's get into the hair, which I'm just gonna pop it open. Okay, so here are all three bundles together. This is the eight inch, the nine inch right here, and the 10 inch. Okay. All right, so here is our eight inch bundle. So I'm just gonna take that out. I mean, I could use some scissors. That would make it a lot easier, but we're here now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys here. So I'm just gonna take it through about four or five loops. We're gonna open the crochet needle and hook the hair on. Close the crochet needle, pull it through, and then we're gonna loop all of the hair on the crochet needle, and then just pull it through. Now, you know what? With this hair being as kinky as it is, I think I'm gonna go with another method when it comes to pulling the hair through, but nonetheless, there is one section. All right, so, I'm gonna take another piece, even it out. Space is really important when you're constructing units like this. So where this one is, I'm gonna put another one about right here. Take it through about four or five, you know, possibly six hoops. Open the crochet needle, put the hair on and close it, pull it through. Now this time I'm going to drop the crochet needle. I'm gonna take the loop with my hands in it and receive the hair and then just pull it through. 
All right, so remember, spacing is important because you can go back and fill the gaps, but if it's too close, then you're just gonna have to remove hair, which will take more time. So I'm gonna keep going with this eight inch. All right, so here is all the eight inch applied and as you can see, it's spaced out. And so we're gonna go in now with the nine inch. Okay, so I've got the nine inch laid out here and I'm just gonna plug in the spaces, keeping spacing in mind, space out as much as possible and just fill up the units. Those spacing, the spacing issues are going to rectify themselves um, once you're done constructing the unit, so just keep that in mind. At the top of the unit, I'm going through about three or four loops. Okay, so now that I went around the perimeter with the nine inch, what I'm gonna do is basically assess whether I need to fill in um, a couple more areas. So this top should be able to be covered with the last bundle. So I'm just gonna focus on um, plugging in some holes that might be a little too wide, okay? Okay, so what I forgot to do that I encourage you guys to do is I've got these little T-pins and I'm actually going to use these to pin down the unit. I don't know why I didn't do that. Alright, so I'm finishing up this last piece of the 9 inch and we're going to fill in the rest with a 10 inch. Okay, so now I'm going in with the 10 inch and we're going to go ahead and close up this circle at the top. Once we close it up, then we can go to look and fill in other areas. Okay, so I am done applying the 10 inch bundle and I pretty much closed everything up by applying a bunch of close pieces right here in the middle now you are still going to have some areas where you see some spacing but that should disappear once you actually apply the unit now for me i'm not going to be applying this unit with combs otherwise i would add some combs to this unit you can uh, use my link down below to get the wave combs that i would typically use um, sometimes i will apply an additional headband as well um, once again i'm just going to be using the band that already comes on this unit okay so i've taken the wig off my mannequin head and this is how it looks at first now of course we're going to need to make some adjustments what i like to do and i'm going to do this off camera but i just like to fluff it out and um, basically just take my wide tooth comb and make it a little bit more frizzy now if you like this look you can go ahead and keep it like this i'm going to show you how i kind of like pin it so that it's not so in my face but this is how it looks right off the bat so if you want to skip the fluffing and the texture part of this tutorial you can definitely do so but i'm going to do that right now okay so here is the wig once again what i'm going to do first is kind of split the hair so i can have about five sections so let me go ahead and section off the hair first All right, so I'm finishing up this last section here. So as you can see, I've got all the hair in sections and so it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to split the hair um, throughout the head evenly. I only wanna split everything once. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. All right, so let's add some coconut oil. Spread it on our hands 
split the hair into two. Okay, so I went ahead and I unraveled one section and this is how it looks. It has a lot more texture, a lot more frizz, and a lot more volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat those steps all over this head. Okay, so this is how the hair looks once I've separated all of the sections. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff. I was gonna fluff with this wide tooth comb, but I'm actually just gonna go ahead and get a smaller comb. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I grabbed my blue pick. Now most of the picking I'm gonna do off camera. I do wanna show you an example of what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna take a section like this and I'm gonna pick right here. I'm not gonna go all the way to the ends because I'm gonna keep some type, some type of curl, some type of definition. So I'm only gonna go back and forth right here. This is gonna create a little bit more frizz, a little bit more texture. It's gonna close up some of the holes that you see in the unit and it's just gonna perfect the unit and make it look, um, you know, like it's your natural hair. So most of this I'm gonna have to do off camera because it's easier for me to pick the hair when it's on my actual head, but I just wanted to show you an example of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick a section like this and I'm just gonna push it up and down, just like that. All right. Okay guys, so I am back to try the unit on. Don't be shocked by my appearance. I know, I know I have a video explaining the entire ordeal and how I came to this decision, but nonetheless, I am basically bald now with, you know, just a little bit of hair here and there, but I'm gonna have a completely different video on that. I just wanna go ahead and wrap up this review. So like I mentioned earlier, I don't have any hair that I could braid back. Otherwise, I would go ahead and French braid it um, to the back or in a circle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the unit on. Okay, so I went ahead and fluffed and shaped the wig to my liking. So this is how it is looking. Of course, I can go back and fluff and cut wherever I need to, but I wanted the hair to go right to a bob length. So that is where it is right now. So I lost a little bit of definition in the back, but I still have a couple of ringlets back there. And if I wanted to add some additional texture, I could do that myself by just applying some small blue perm rods and bowling them and, you know, just re-curling um, un the unit in the back. However, that's unnecessary for me. I'm just gonna keep it as is and rock it just like this. So I love the texture, I love the volume. And what I did in the front is I actually used some bobby pins all right and I just pinned up the front by pulling up a little bit of the hairs right at the bottom so pull it up pin it in place pull it up pin it in place and once you take the unit on and off those bobby pins stay in place so that you are able to continuously wear the unit without having to readjust you know the bobby pins so I will show you a couple of tricks you know on another day in a different video on how I feel secure in my units without any type of hair. Um, but for right now, this is how it looks. Of course, at this point, you can either sew this unit down, you can body pin it down to your braids. Um, it really just depends on your preference. Okay, so now that I've been able to fluff and shape the unit, let me come in so you guys can see the full texture and volume of this hair. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the reason why I fell in love with this hair to begin with. It's just a really good texture that mimics African American hair very, very well. All right, but this is primarily how I'm going to be rocking the hair. Of course, if I wanted to switch up this look, I could just apply a headband and go for a different type of look, but I'm pretty much gonna stick with this for now. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know seeing my bald head was a surprise, but you know, we don't talk about it, we don't talk, for sure. All right, so I think I pretty much covered everything in this video. If you guys have any questions, you already know to leave them down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.